Hey everybody, this is Rowan Horden, and I'm back with another figure review. And tonight's review is going to be the um, Sailor Moon SH Figure Arts 25th Anniversary Sailor Jupiter and Sailor Venus figures. So, um, let's get started, shall we? So, the f first figure figure I'm going to show off is Sailor Jupiter. So, um, here she is. Highly detailed. Um, looks absolutely great. And here she is on a stand. Her face and ponytail is beautifully made. Really love it. She's even my favorite scout out of the five main characters. And she can move from her elbows, and her hands are even bull-jointed. She could even move her arms, but don't move them too much, otherwise one of them will pop off. Her head can even rotate, and can rarely be bull-jointed. And her ponytail is also bull-jointed. So you can move it in many different ways to, and whatever, if the wind is blowing, blowing it. And, um, her legs can even move too. But don't stretch them out too far, otherwise they will break and possibly snap off. Because this figure is very delicate. She can even move from her knees. And you could even move her f her boots too. And they're even slightly bolt jointed. So yeah, um Sailor Jupiter is pretty much my favorite of the five main characters. Um let me put a let me put a back in a Stand carefully. And, uh... uh hold on, guys. Okay, think I, um... Got her back in clearly. And now I'm gonna show you her packaging. It's colored in... Green and pink, which are her two main colors. Here's one of the sides. Love that photo of her. And here's the back of it, where you can see her in different poses, which you can try and put her in. Now I'm going to show you what's inside of the box. She comes with many different additional pieces. We've got another hair piece, which has an, ant an antenna, which she uses when battling. And she even comes with three more additional faces. This was the face she came in, but I replaced it with a, um, open mouth smile. Oh, uh, let me put her back there carefully. And she even comes with different separate hands. Like fists or for punching, waving or fingers spread out, um, cat, cat claw-like hands, um, peace signs or whatever you want to call them. And some pointing fingers, which are for one of her, which is for her signature pose. And one of the faces is um, losing balance, so I'm gonna quickly, oops, um, one of her hair, her hair piece came out. Gotta keep a time on the, um, recording because my iPhone is, um, kind of full on storage and I have to delete some, some things off it and off my photos and some other apps in case. Okay, I think that this will do the trick. 
and better put the additional pieces back in the um, back in the um, packaging. And behind it is an instruction manual, but I'm not gonna bother showing you it because don't want to waste too much time on that. And now we're gonna show you Sailor Venus. Um, let me stop the recording. Okay, I think I'm ready. Now, the next figure we're gonna show off is Sailor Venus. Let me move the cat off. And, um, here she is on a stand. Like Jupiter, she has many points of articulation. You can move her elbows and yeah and you could even her hands are even ball jointed yeah um pretty cool and quite accurate too and her head is even ball jointed let me take her off the stand because her hair's blocking everything yeah her her head can move and is even ball jointed, and a few strands of her hair can move somehow. Oh yeah, and that hand is pretty much an accessory, and she, which me, which is because she's holding a Sailor V mask, and her legs can move, and so do her knees, and her. And her heels are even ball jointed. And can move too. And she even comes with a white cat named Artemis. So, um, this is Artemis, the white version of Luna. His head can move, but he but but his legs don't. And he he can even move his tail, too. And he looks kind of cute. Gotta keep an eye on the runtime on my phone, on my camera app. And now I'm gonna be um, showing off some... Uh, some... Her packaging and... Some accessories she came... More accessories she came with. So here is her packaging. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I... The camera just cut off. The video just cut off. Yeah. So here are some more sides of the packaging. Sorry. Voice crack there. Here's her posing. And now I'm going to show you the accessories she came with. We have another headpiece, um, which features her Sailor V mask. Hairpiece, whatever you want to call it. And here's her hairpiece with her Sailor V mask. Oops, accidentally dropped it. And this is the hand she came with. I'm going to... Put it right there. And this also was the hand she did ca come with. I might change it once I finish the video. And she even comes with additional hands. And she even comes with three more additional faces. This one was the face. This face was the one she came with. I haven't tried these other faces yet. And this was where Artemis came out of. Um, gotta grab the hand that she came with. The other hand she came with out. Um, I haven't showed you the stands yet, but here are what the stands look like. 
we have Sailor Venus printed on them and Sailor Jupiter printed on them too. Um, better put the plastic back in the box. I forgot to mention Venus's box ha um, has the colors yellow and blue in them, even though Venus's color is more of an orangey color. So, um, yeah. Uh, I th think I have no- I don't think I have nothing else to say. Well, guys, um, that's all. Um, this was my review on the S Sailor Moon SH Figure Arts Jupiter and Venus figures, and Hope you guys enjoyed this video very... I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in a future video like this or, or another. So, uh, goodbye.